So welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid and this is your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today we're talking about automation and innovation in the hemp and cannabis industry. We are here live at the World Trade Center. I'm here with Arner and Denny. They're with Green Vault Systems. I'm here with Jason of 420 Wholesale Pack. And then there's Andy of Poseidon Asset Management. We'll be citing headsets, data, um, analytics, uh, and a couple of uh, items here on the podcast. Um, But yeah, data is definitely the the second largest investment vehicle behind multi-state operators. Uh, Harvest just got bought out by what can it be for 3.4 billion. And then, yep. yeah, so the third investment vehicle is uh, Canvas Cafes and we haven't even seen that. So that is huge. It's gonna definitely define um, I think what happens. So uh, with that automation, um, Arner or Denny, there seems to be a disconnect between what we think of as innovative products and what our clients think are innovative. So I'm curious, what does product innovation really look like? We could talk about cutting edge ingredients and functionality, packaging technology and information or brand new concepts that no one's ever seen before. But are those really the things that consumers want and are willing to purchase? Is, it, is a market leader the face of global competition? Is the ability to respond rapidly to changing customer requirements and niche opportunities? Is maintaining a competitive edge in times of turbulent shifting global economics, or is it developing optimum manufacturing process to increase mar- market share? Ultimately, whatever it is, what defines successful automation solutions for you and your clients? Um, in, in, uh, in, this is more of the process automation side of the product uh, innovation. Um, I look at it as kind of four pillars of, of a successful production and automation and automation. Um, you look at efficiency uh, in, in, in the process. You got to, you know you need to analyze, look at the, the throughput uh, based on your customers' needs. Um, you're looking for labor savings. Of course, that's the biggest piece of efficiency. Um, Product quality is, uh, is is obviously, uh, especially in this industry, where you have a very competitive market, you, uh, you're sharing self- shelf space in the uh, dispensaries uh, with, with many other producers, um, so your quality stands out um, and, and, and drives your sales, and, uh, and, and you get better pricing for, for your product. Um, and equipment. Innovation engineering, you have uh, you want to design, especially in this product being as unique as it is. Uh, you want to ver- you want to design for the product itself. Um, there's other uh, there's other engineering and, and, and uh, equipment providers out there that uh, that have tried to bring in equipment uh, designed for packaging peanuts or jelly beans, things like that. Um, they work great for those products, not very good for for, uh, for cannabis, especially mm-hmm. for the flower. Um, <clears throat> so besides uh, efficiency product qu- and product quality, um, you want to look at overall product yield. Uh, you want to get the most for your product, uh, most value. Um, you know, in our space where we, uh, we, we spend a lot of our, our engineering efforts is uh, is uh, is for net weight packaging, which most products or most markets require. Uh, their accuracy in, in weighing and packaging, uh, you know, minimizes your overpack, which uh, reduces your your uh, your loss and increases your yield. Um, <clears throat> the fourth one being uh, equipment reliability. Um, spend a lot of time making sure that uh, the equipment we run or, or that we provide our customers is, uh, is reliable. Uh, Warehouser uh, several years ago did a study on, on where their, their costs in manufacturing uh, lie, where, was, where were the highest costs. Mm-hmm. And they found by far and away uh, the highest cost in manufacturing and production is downtime. Mm-hmm. And so engineering uh, your equipment to run reliably day in, day out um, without the downtime is, uh, is, an, is a key component to, to engineering. Those are two big factors. There was a report that just came out about how Washington only is using about 50% of its capacity to grow, mm-hmm. whereas Canada is growing so much, but nobody wants it. And I think that's more about quality control than, than actual production. Um, but 
ultimately it's about knowing the product i've, I've worked with, we spoke offline about um talking with uh, traditional tobacco manufacturers and how they're not really willing to work with the industry but they want to know about it but they have no idea about the product and they, they're asking me for pictures of what the end joint is supposed to look like and if they can't manufacture to that exact specifications they won't even try and so there's really a disconnect, I think, between some of the manufacturers and some of the buyers, obviously, um, being so new. And it's going to be interesting to see who produces what uh, when you have people coming into the industry who know uh, absolutely nothing about it. What defines successful automated manufacturing as it pertains to your pre-roll machine? Um, consistent uh, product, accuracy, uh, and... Uh, savings in uh, significant savings in manpower. Mm -hmm. It's moving. Uh, it's a technology that uh, that moves rolling, you know, into the twenty first century. Uh, and uh, I think the high, and beyond that is significant, significant uh, period of testing, uh, where I think it's been running now for four years. The first machine uh, in an Israeli LP. And now we have four machines running with them. And the operator is that good. It's one operator running four machines. Mm. So, uh, and they're producing about 90% of the cones used by medical cannabis users in Israel. Wow. So efficiency, accuracy, and a great track record. So it's been completely debunked. Mm. I think that's the highest uh, value. And with that, I really appreciate uh, you all being here with me today. Uh, so with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is your Cannabis Business Podcast, The Talking Hedge. Like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out.